I just want to know how you know which mice have autism. As strange as it sounds, I get asked this question a lot. There are many ways to test this, but here's one that I think is really interesting. And I actually published a protocol for this test. That's me. So what you do is you put the mouse you want to test into this big box with three chambers. In one chamber, you have a mouse under a cup just so that it doesn't run around. On the other side, you usually have an object under the cup. In my old lab, we'd use a wooden block like this. Now, mice are pretty social, so over, let's say, a 10 minute period, the mouse will generally spend more time interacting with the other mouse than with the object. But in some cases, for example, when mice are carrying the same gene mutations that are associated with autism in humans, they might not show this preference for interacting with the mouse. They might even prefer to interact with the object. What I'm describing is called the Three Chamber Social Preference Test, and it's currently the leading test for measuring social behavior in mice. Oh, and by the way, as scientists, we do not say that mice have autism, because autism is a human condition. We can only model the symptoms, so we call these mice with genetic mutations, for example, autism mouse models. Follow to learn more about neuroscience, and please keep asking me your questions.